Closed captioning is brought to you by ITE Life in Motion. KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust, serving Micronesia since 1938. Matson Navigation, serving Guam and Micronesia for 20 years. Cars Plus, Dodge Challenger, the undisputed champion. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. Pacific Solar and King's Restaurant, located in Timuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. It's being called an eco-friendly development in Pago Bay. Details from today's Guam Land Use Commission meeting. Plus, the former senator accuses a sitting center of trying to impugn his integrity. And what several of you want to know about tax refunds going out in the mail. We've got that information for you coming right up. Good evening, everybody. The people behind a controversial high-rise development over in Pago Bay are going green. Ken Katanita has more from today's GLUC meeting. We were very embarrassed that our submission was incomplete. It was not our intent to be incomplete. We completely misunderstood what the submission requirements were. And I think today, the comment was it's been received and we met all the requirements. In November last year, the GLUC issued a notice to show cost Guam Wanfang construction after they were dissatisfied over compliance with the project. Some of the major concerns were changes to the layout and lack of financial documentation. And while the GLUC accepted the company's response of having met the minimum requirements, they did not want to discuss further details today. So I think as of now, yes, you know, we, we are, uh, we have received your, uh, your report and your response, but I think um, uh, our plans are to, um, our plans are to further review the documents and uh, discuss it uh, upon the return of the chair. And while failure to respond to the notice could have threatened the application from being revoked, for now it looks like the project is moving forward, but with some changes, including the name, which has changed to the Pago Bay Ocean Resort. Architect Barbara Burkhart is now taking the lead as the designer of record for the project. FC Benaventi and planners had resigned from the project last year after the notice to show cause was issued. I don't accept projects lightly. I don't accept contracts lightly. This meets a very good green profile and I'm pleased to work on it and develop that profile for the client. As for the actual project, Burkhart says the unique green footprint was all part of the original application. Our tower, which is really not a tower, it's a mid-rise, is only 16% of the site coverage. Again, challenge anyone to find a condominium project where at least 30 to 40 percent of the site is covered by the building. Um, that makes it a uniquely green project. She adds the mid-rise will be 10 feet lower than the variance actually allowed. She also reiterates the project is not a hotel but a condominium. As for the cost, Burkhart says going green isn't cheap and so remains in the 90 to 120 million dollar range. As for the criticism and current lawsuit against the project. I have a belief in Southern Guam and I would hope that as more information of the project comes out when we go out for permit and we build the project and features of the project come out as a contribution to Southern Guam that will we'll come closer together. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Well, in response, Diane Strong from the Save Southern Guam organization tells KUAM they're still against the project, saying the green aspect has nothing to do with their opposition, adding, quote, it's still a hotel in a residential zone. She says this is just icing to get public opinion swayed toward them. Well, it is no secret they weren't BFFs in the 33rd Guam legislature. And while one didn't make it to the 34th, he's certainly going OFF on his former colleague. 
He may be out, but former Senator Rory Respicio is in the limelight after Senator Michael Sinicholas threw shade at the former Rules Committee chair during a press conference Wednesday related to more than $1 million in change orders for the new Guam Congress building. This is classic uh, Mike Sinicholas where he'll throw everything out and then walk away from it. Senator Sinicholas, who succeeded Respicio as Rules Chair in the 34th, said he wouldn't sign off on a single cent for the change orders until the costs are are accounted for. He also tasked the legislature's new executive director, his former staffer, Jermaine Alerta, to conduct an investigation. In the 33rd Guam legislature, I was a member of the committee and we never saw any of these numbers. And so that's why this is very alarming for me to come across them as the new rules chair in this meeting. Um, and that's also why I've asked the executive director to do an internal review um, to make sure that uh, these uh, costs were either in compliance with the existing contract and um, followed our procurement laws. Respecting Senator St. Nicholas was a no-show to committee meetings. He also suggests that if he's so concerned, then he should have an independent investigator look into the costs. He cannot have his own posse do the investigation. He can't have the executive director who reports to him directly do the investigation. He should have the attorney general and the public auditor. Senator St. Nicholas brought his concerns to light in the name of transparency following a report he received from the Guam Preservation Trust. We want the community to be fully aware of what the cost of this move is, is going to be. And as of right now, um, as per this report, um, some of these change order items really jumped out at us. And uh, I wanted to kind of bring them to the public's attention. Respicio refutes it's not about transparency. I think Mike Nicholas is doing this to deflect from the fact of his already failed leadership as the 34th Guam Legislature's chair on rules. Senator Spicio says all Senator St. Nicholas had to do was pick up the phone and call him if he had any concerns. Meanwhile, Senator St. Nicholas, who's campaigned on being fiscally responsible, says he's committed to ensuring the restoration of the Guam Congress building will not require additional taxpayer appropriation. He added that some senators have had issue with this cost cutting and internal reallocation, including the rescinding of the distribution of $270,000 in lapsed funds from the budget of the late Senator Ben Pangolinan. He stated in a press release that 30000 was gifted to each individual majority senator's budget in the last days of the 33rd Guam legislature on top of the regular budget. That money has since been placed in a reserve. As for the Guam Preservation Trust, Joe Kanatsa, he's remaining neutral, adding the change orders are necessary and were approved. I, I understand each part. Uh, I understand that, that this is a, a huge project that we're undertaking, uh, and there's a transition that probably needed to occur, which did not. So you're, you're seeing, uh, you're seeing uh, Senator St. Nicholas that is concerned. Uh, and then you have Senator Rory Respicio that have been with the project since the beginning and he understands that part. So I think what was missing was that transition uh, that needed to occur between the new guard and the old guard. As reported, 1.2 million in change orders were for 430,000 in furniture, 250,000 for an audio visual system, and 130,000 for landscaping, to name a few. Well, the governor has vetoed a bill 411, and if you haven't remembered what bill goes with what legislation, it was passed by the 33rd legislation and would have amended the current public law to allow for an alternative method of solicitation for the $100 million bid to repair dozens of public schools, starting with Sanchez High up in Jigo. While Adelope agrees it cannot delay any further, it notes that in the final form, Bill 411, quote, would have cost us more time, millions of dollars more, and would have removed the task of repairing and modernizing other schools. If enacted, Adelope says the bill would have charted a whole new course of action with a multi-step bid requiring different specifications, design parameters, evaluation factors, and negotiations. The governor says he's confident with the months of hard work put in by the AG, DPW, DOE, and with the public auditor, a new home of the Sharks is an imminent reality. Well, the news now that most of you are looking forward to is another million dollars in tax returns should be on the way to almost 500 happy recipients very soon. Revenue Tax and DOA are processing 488 checks for late filers through last August 19th. In all, over $140 million in tax returns have been issued in the last year. 
The government has almost cut in half its number of witnesses scheduled to testify in the Mark Tory murder trial. Today, it submitted its amended list with almost 120 witnesses. The former police officer is accused of murdering his fellow officer, Albert Piolo, in July of 2015. The incident occurred outside Tory's home in Jigo. Both were off duty. Opening statements are anticipated for the end of this month. Jurors will head into deliberations for a fight that broke out in the parking lot of the Linda's Coffee Shop late last year. Crystal Paco now reports on closing arguments heard earlier this afternoon. If a picture says a thousand words, prosecutor Tom Newman suggests a video says a million. Closing arguments were heard Thursday in the trial for Liberty Conception, the only defendant left to face a jury for a riot that occurred outside Linda's coffee shop on October 22nd. While parties agree Conception didn't start the fight, but J.C. White threw the first punch. Prosecution alleges Conception proceeded to instigate violence on victims Norman Romilar and Lloyd Romilar, and then fled the scene when the cops arrived. And it's a little ironic that defense counsel is raising justifications of self-defense and defense of others when this man is the assailant. This man is the instigator. And it's Lloyd who's using self-defense. To defend himself, to defend himself. That's what you heard on testimony. Okay, that's what you heard up here on the witness stand. Defense has a different interpretation of how events unfolded. Attorney David Luhan maintains his client was acting out of self-defense after losing a white. Defense contends Conception observed his friend, Enrique Duenas, on the other end of the parking lot. Duenas, who already pled out in the case, was outnumbered by the Romilar cousins. According to surveillance footage, a larger, unidentified man wearing a black shirt is involved and may be responsible for beating the Romilars to the ground. You're going to see there's a lot of people fighting. Liberty walks this way. The black guy, the guy in black shirt, appears to have been stomping. If Lloyd was stomped there, it wasn't Liberty, it was the guy in black shirt. There's Lloyd, or rather Norman. Norman leaves that fight. Liberty is there, then there's L Liberty and Norman, then Liberty again goes here, is being called by this lady, then there's Lloyd, or rather Norman, this man is following, walking towards where Norman is. Then you'll see. This is a replay of that. The big guy, you see, there's the guy punching. This big guy punching Norman, kicking Norman. What's not liberty? There's liberty shirtless. Already, Joven Santos, Christian Medina, and Duenas have entered plea deals in the case. Santos and Medina face no jail time, while KUAM files show Duenas faces anywhere from 45 to 100 days behind bars. As we reported, it was because of the riot police discovered Brian Cruz unconscious in the back of a car that same night. Cruz died days later from a severe head injury, which he sustained while drinking with friends J.C. White, Alfredo Castro, and Richard Regadio in Tumon earlier that night. Jurors are now in deliberations for the Linda's riot trial. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. A man convicted of bribing a customs officer to help him obtain his drugs in the mail is spared jail time. Joseph B. Cruz Jr. previously entered a guilty plea to bribery concerning a program receiving federal funds. Back in 2009, he attempted to bribe a Guam customs officer by offering her $1,500 and then $8,000 to help him obtain his package containing crystal meth. The drugs were concealed in a purse and reportedly valued at $10,000. The woman busted for claiming thousands of dollars in tax refunds that she was not entitled to got off with five years probation.
for years 2010 through 2012, Linda Lindberry used a fake address in Washington and Hawaii. And while she was spared any time behind bars, the feds have ordered that she pay the over $15,000 back to the IRS. Stay tuned. We're back with a lot more news after the break. There are more ways to experience KUAM news than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM news app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming, KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Do you want to get discounts at local restaurants like Lone Star, CPK, Capricciosa, Delmonico Kitchen and Bar, Manhattan Steakhouse, Tony Roma's, and lots more? What about 25% off on all natural and organic items at the supermarkets daily? It's all part of the Monstrous Rewards Club, the Cowboys Lifestyle Club. Join today for free as an added benefit to being a Cowboys Insurance customer. Just show your Lifestyle Club card at over 50 of our rewards partners to start saving more. It's just one of the ways Cowboys Insurance helps you live a better lifestyle. Two things come to play when talking about mobile data, price and speed. Let's look at what happens when we compare the competition against it &E's $80 plan. Docomo's $79 plan comes with six gigs. it &E's $80 plan comes with 20. GTA's $80 plan comes with 10 gigs. Better, but you get twice as much at it &E. it &E has the best network and the data to back it up. Get unlimited talk and text and 20 gigabytes for $80 at it &E. Oh, and if you bring your own device, get 40 gigs. Is your old ride letting you down? Then play Micronesia Mall's Ride Away Flyaway game and win three rides from Triple J Auto Group plus 30 flyaways to Manila on Philippine Airlines. Just present mall receipts to enter and win the 2017 Kia Soul, the 2017 Mazda 3 Sport, the 2017 Kia Forte, and instant prizes from Burger King and Foot Blockers. Shop and win more cars, trips, and prizes when you play Micronesia Mall's Ride Away Flyaway game. The Shop Guam E-Festival is back and better than ever. GBB has teamed up with over 100 Shop Guam vendors to give you access to hundreds of deals and discounts. Download the free Shop Guam mobile app and get real-time alerts on offers nearest you to dine, shop, play, and save. Just in time for the holiday season. Download the app now and start taking advantage of great deals. The Shop Guam E-Festival is a GBB signature event, making Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Chuck E. Cheese's Guam is not all fun and games. Our pizza is delicious with the freshest toppings, oven baked to order. Try the fresh salad bar, sandwiches, and don't forget our mouth-watering wings. Come and eat at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. Connect with KUAM News. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Follow us and stay in the know with Guam's news leader. Welcome back. Let's take a look now at the headlines in the CNMI. Hopaday Marianas, this is what's making news in the CNMI. Michelle Daniel, a cashier at Grand Poker, shows us how she tried to keep out a robber early Tuesday morning. Then this guy just goes straight to kick, he kick, right? So I'm scared. So I get down and then I stand up this side. When I look the door, actually the door is like that. And then this one, it's almost broken. So I tried to double lock so he's keep on pushing and you know banging using the axe and the hammer daniel who has worked there for more than a year grabbed her cell phone and called 911 can you come to my uh, no grand poker somebody's uh, no bothering now okay hurry up hurry up please okay Are you just gonna head over to Grand Poker? Yeah, Grand Poker in Gualuray. Please, please. Officer Jason Tarkon says they received the call at about 4.48 a.m. Well, at about 4.48 a.m., police received a 911 call and they responded to a, a possibly robbery in progress at Grand Poker in Gualuray. When they arrived, they saw the victim. She was distraught and she said he just left. Inside a PIC classroom, these future school resource officers are learning the proper way to handle high school students. Instructor and police corporal Eric Renendez says this is a national training course. A school resource officer is a properly selected, properly trained, uniformed police officer in a school who is put there in order to build relationships and change the negative image 
uh, kids have with police and to help them um, in the school system to provide a safe and learning environment and to assist them as they grow and become uh, adults in society. Reporting for KSBN2, I'm Bryant Clerkley. A new term for the Consolidated Commission on Utilities begins as newly elected member Dr. Judy Guthertz was sworn in by Chief Justice Catherine Merriman. Joey Duenas also took the oath and was re-elected CCU chairperson. Francis Santos was elected hey. vice chair, Guthertz as treasurer, and George Bamba as secretary. Duenas explains the top issues facing the commission. We, of course, have the challenges in GPA with regard to generation and integration of renewable energy into our portfolio and improving customer service. That's always the bottom line. When it comes to GWA, we, of course, have the challenges of the court order projects. But in addition to that, we also are going to be improving all the other services we provide. The CCU was created in 2002 to help oversee the island's power and water systems with current member Simon Sanchez as the first chairman. After years of short-term contracts at the Guam Regional Transit Authority, Kloppenberg Enterprises was awarded a long-term bus service provider contract last December. Vice President Brad Kloppenberg spoke to Island Rotarians today, saying the three-year contract should provide residents with greater stability as well as much improved service. We're working with the Transit Authority now to uh, find ways to, to increase uh, um, some of the coverage. Uh, it's their intent now to bring back the Orange Line, uh, which was part of the uh, uh, pilot program that was run a couple of years ago. And the Orange Line basically uh, uh, runs through uh, the Dededo area, Harmon Loop, uh, up through Barragata and Tietzen. Kloppenberg also added that under the new contract, his company will focus on bus operations, while the authority will be taking the lead in areas such as scheduling, dispatching, and routing. Efforts to get medicinal marijuana implemented locally are moving forward. The Department of Public Health announces that starting next week, applications for a medical cannabis license will be available. Late last year, the Joaquin and Casey Conception Compassionate Cannabis Use Act lapsed into law. Adeloupe, along with public health, raised concern with the new law over unfunded mandates and regulatory issues. The applications will be available starting the 18th at the Chief Public Health Office on the second floor in Mingilao. You can also view the application on their website. While the governor's transmittal of the Cannabis Control Act has sparked the speaker to reintroduce legislation raising the age of access on Guam to tobacco and e-cigarettes from 18 to 21. Similar legislation introduced in his last term failed to garner enough votes for an override. Cruz says, quote, given the administration's newfound desire for a consistent age of access, as illustrated in the Cannabis Control Act, he did introduce the bill, which you can read on the legislature's website. It is bill number nine. The Guam International Airport Authority has maintained an investment grade rating by Moody's Investor Services. The ratings agency also gave GIAA's bonds a stable outlook, reflecting its ability to maintain fairly stable operating performance despite vulnerability to natural events and significant dependence on tourism and military activity. TVB has elected new leadership. Milton Mornaga, who is the managing director for PHR Ken Micronesia, was elected as chairman. He served as tourism executive for roughly four decades in Hawaii, Saipan, and now on our island. He spent much of his career developing and supporting marketing efforts in destinations including Japan. The board also elected Monty Mesa as vice chairman, Teresa Ariola as secretary, and treasurer is Sam Shinohara. What was supposed to be a park for children and families is instead turned into an illegal dump site and an eyesore. A concerned citizen brought the issue of the dilapidated Sagan Lanadzen Park in a stumbo to the attention of Senator Will Castro, who led a walkthrough of the site with stakeholders and GovGuam agency representatives this morning. Castro has begun plans to refurbish the park through collaboration with the public sector, military partners, as well as the community. Uh, the other dump sites and now some melancholy news as the village of Umatic is mourning the loss of icon Big John Tatautau, who was famous for offering rides on his carabao Betsy. They're seen there down at Fort Soldad in the southern village. Mayor Johnny Kanata confirms that Tatatao passed away Thursday morning Guam time. Late last year, he relocated to the mainland when his health worsened. The care about Betsy is now under the care of family locally. Kanata does extend his condolences to Tatatao's family and says he'll be missed by locals and tourists who are always asking for him. Big John Tatatao was 59 years old. And of course, all of us here at KOEM uh, send our condolences to his family as well. Stay tuned. Sports is next. But first, here's a look at weather.
Thank you for an amazing year. This 2017, get ready for suspense. Romance. Drama. Action. So bring on the new year. We are ready to capture more moments. Happy New Year from GTA. Insure your auto or home with Alpha Insurers and get more chances to win awesome prizes with Alpha Switch, Spin, and Win. Alpha Insurers will draw three winners every week and one monthly grand prize winner to spin Alpha's prize wheel for a chance to win an iPad mini, flat screen TV, gas cards, and so much more. Just switch or renew your auto or home insurance with Alpha Insurers and you automatically qualify. It's that easy. Call 477-8701 or 637-8833 for more details and you could be a winner for Alpha's Switch, Spin, and Win. Start this year with something new in your driveway during Cars Plus Something New sales event. Make a resolution to expand your horizons with Jeep, the most awarded best-selling SUV brand. Like a Jeep Renegade or Jeep Compass, your choice. Save up to $4,000 or save $4,500 off a Jeep Grand Cherokee. How about the Jeep Cherokee 75th Anniversary Edition with savings up to $5,500 off? Stop in today for quick and easy financing. It's our Something New sales event going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Sometimes you picture me, I'm walking too far ahead Then you say, go slow, I fall behind We all want what's best for our kids. Introducing McDonald's new Chicken McNuggets, made with 100% white meat chicken and no artificial colors, flavors, and now no artificial preservatives. This is what precision sounds like. Sound dampening technologies like triple door seals that help keep outside noise out. Oh, I talk about getting out of a tight spot. Introducing the midsize pickup only GMC could build. In more ways than one. The finely crafted 2016 Canyon from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. Off of Daguam, it's your boy Chris Barnett here with Sports, proudly brought to you by Triple J, J, J. Hey, newsflash, tomorrow's Friday, whoa! Let's kick it off right now with a little three-on-three -three basketball action coming up. St. John's School hosting an alumni and friends three-on-three -three basketball tourney January 28th at St. John's admission. Free for fans and players wanting to take part in the tournament. That'll cost 15 bucks per player and 35 for a three-person team. We started doing these tournaments a couple years ago to, you know, bring all the alumni back into St. John's and um, just have them enjoy um their time catching up and also we want to raise awareness and raise funds for our Nights for Nights scholarship fund so that um, gives local families opportunity to attend St. John's. Check in time 1 30 on the 28th with games starting around 2 in the afternoon. Players group to form teams if you register individually. The rules for the team is that you have to have at least two alumni players on your three on three uh, basketball team. You can have up to five uh, players, but we would like to have two alumni on the court at all times. Um, so yeah, and then any other, you can bring in any other uh, player that you would like to join your team. Teams targeted for the fundraising tournament are high school and adult players looking to step onto the court and have fun for a worthy cause. If you would like to register, you can call St. John's School and ask for me, Michelle. 646-8080 is our number, or you can email me. My email is development at stjohnsguam.com. So that's S-T-J-O-H-N-S Guam.com. Local gymnast Cadence Montgomery, a former Dial Rentone Athlete of the Week here on KOM Sports, and Isabella Kibral recently competed in the Gymnastics in Paradise competition in Honolulu, Hawaii. Cadence Montgomery, a level eight junior D division, placed third all around with 35.475, third on the vault with a 905, and third on the floor with a 9075. 
Uh, Keybrow, level seven, junior A division, placed fourth all around with a score of 36.125. Fourth on all four events. Gymnastics in Paradise, of course, held in Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha. The competition featured teams from Hawaii, the United Kingdom, Canada, Arizona, California, Washington, Oregon, Alaska, and, of course, Guam. Both gymnasts will compete again next week in the Aloha Gym Fest meet held in Kailua, Hawaii, with three more of their teammates joining them from Guam. Switching gear, paddling news, the Marianas Paddles Racing Association, MPRA, of course, for those of you scoring along at home, hosting the 2017 Airport Week Double Hull Outrigger Canoe Sprint Races Sunday, the 15th. That's this Sunday, 7 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon at Matapang Beach, Tumon. First race of the year hosted by MPRA and will also feature an exhibition race for children 6 to 16 years of age. All right, how about some football? Playoff football this Sunday, 11 a.m., KUAM TV, 11. All right, 11 on 11. NFL, CBS, AFC Divisional Playoff. Houston Texans and the New England Patriots. Boy, that's American right there. Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday, 4 in the morning, KUAM TV, 8. It is the NFL on NBC. Sunday night football, but because we're advanced, right, it happens Monday here. NFL Divisional Playoff game. Pittsburgh Steelers at the Chiefs of Kansas City. My name's Chris. Hey, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Thanks for watching. On behalf of our sports director, Mr. DeBit Delgado, you keep on shining, Guam. Adios! Q50 holding short runway one nine or right. Q50, do you copy? 227, runway one nine or right. The 2016 Q50 from Infinity. Get ready to take flight at the 2017 United Airlines Guam Marathon, April 9th. Register now for the 5K, 10K, half, and full marathon. Four races in one great event. Run in paradise with thousands of local and the international riders. Enjoy new features such as the Hoppa Day Expo, the Barbecue Beach Party, and the upcoming Runner's Perk Program, Eat, Shop, Run. Learn more. Visit our Facebook or Instagram and register now at unitedguammarathon.com. For 20 years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives. Bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat, and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adahi Itanu program, to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, you just lost it, Matson. It's your last chance to save big during the Triple J Auto Group's absolute year in clearance. Get unbelievable savings on all remaining 2016s, plus many 2017s. Take advantage of our lowest prices of the year on Hondas, Acuras, Fords, Mazdas, Lincolns, Volvos, Kias, and used cars. New cars as low as $80 per paycheck, and used cars as low as $68 per paycheck. Every customer receives a free gift. Visit us online at TripleJGuam.com and get pre-approved instantly. Some conditions apply. See dealer for details. Triple J Auto Group. Customers first. All right, welcome back. Let's get to your birthday shout outs and the newest members of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Happy eighth birthday going out to Slade the Grasha. Also celebrating your birthday today, Tisha Joy Bernardo. Love you, say mom and dad. Happy birthday to Misty Rose, Napati, Iglesias Cruz. May you have more B days to come. We love and miss you, cuz, from your Deborah and the entire Napati family. Janessa Yamasta has birthday number 20, and everybody says, Happy birthday to you. Happy 18th birthday to Hannah Cruz. Love everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday, Daddy. Say Mommy and Kaylee. This is going out to Ryan and John Guzman. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday to Janice Cabrera Ogo. Love your Cabrera family. It is a happy birthday for Raylan Valdez because this is coming from the entire family, each and every one of them for Raylan. Happy birthday to Joshua George. May you have a blessed and joyous birthday. Love your wife, Leanne, and your son, Caleb, and your family. All right, go on KUM.com so you can register someone special for the Cold Stone Creamy Birthday Club and stay tuned because In the Mix is next. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.
is presented by The Deli, located in the Jones and Guerrero building in Hagatia. Open 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Hoffa Day Guam, welcome to another episode of In the Mix. I'm Jonah Gancharfis. Thanks so much for tuning in. A great show lined up for you this evening coming up. It's Tulip Thursday, so you know what that means. Chris Barnett shares with us another tasty recipe using tulip luncheon meat. A little bit later, we have KUM Connections. In this week's installment, we get a sneak peek of a CBS reality show called Hunted. And we close out the show tonight with Live Local Friday when Tim Hodge performed some of his tunes. But first things first. Kat David is a local girl, but she's also an actress, model, and music producer. I got a chance to sit down with her when she was here on Guam for some R&R. Here's more. I went to school in England for like a semester right after graduating from high school, but I lived on Guam basically my whole life. And it was back in 2015 when we did an interview with local girl Kat David. Recently, David, who's an actress, model, and music producer, was on island. Something she said was needed. In her words, her soul needed to be home. At the end of this year, I was just so drained from working in um, all of the, I guess the drama with the election really wore down on me too. And coming home was so nice to just be around my family. And my whole family is basically almost my whole family is here, which is super rare. My mom's one of 14 kids. So this is like a massive family reunion. For her, it's always very refreshing coming back to Guam. It's also just nice to come home and, and see how beautiful it is. I, I forget how, um, how much respect we should have for this planet living in a big city. There's not very much green in nature. And coming home, you drive down the street and yeah, there are buildings, but the jungle rules. In the 671 Cat the LA girl, it's just Catherine. I feel like I get reality checked, you know? My family, they're very proud of me, but they don't treat me different at all. David has had a busy year with a couple of movie gigs and post-production, a TV show. I was able to work with Louis C.K., the uh, comedian. He's producing a new show called Better Things, and um, it's about a single mom and her three just awful children, <laughs> daughters, and I get to play the, um, the eldest daughter's friend. A VH1 pilot, modeling jobs. I shot for Playboy again. Go crazy, bro. Go crazy, bro and even appearances in several music videos. I got to work with my, one of my favorite artists ever. Um, I did a video with Britney Spears, and I never really get shell-shocked, but with Britney, I was like, girl, you were my first CD. I love you so much. She can also be spotted in DNCE's Body Moves as well. She adds this year she wants to focus more on acting gigs. I want to work more on acting things and, um, yeah, having a career based on how I look is not my favorite. I'd like to be known for a little bit more than that. 2017 for me is, um, this is the year of actually like really pursuing my, my dream dream because, I mean, acting is the main thing that I've always wanted to do. It's where I feel the most confident in my work. I, I feel that... Um, I have so much more to offer. As for any advice you give to those who want to get into the industry. I think people who want to get into this industry because they think it's going to change their lives and they're going to feel, oh, I'm so important now, I'm so beautiful or whatever it is, like you're doing it for the wrong reason. It's not what it's going to be. And if you're not happy already, you're never going to be happy. I would also say that, and I don't think it's, I think everyone from Guam kind of has this, um, respect is so important. Showing up on time is so important. Just um, showing that you care and having passion is 100% everything. You know, there's a thousand beautiful girls. Girls are way more beautiful than I am out here working and everyone's fighting for a place. But at the end of the day, casting directors will book you because they want to spend 14 hours on set with you. And as opposed to this girl who's gorgeous, but is just a terrible person. When asked if she had a special shout out, my parents, Greg and Ori David, you guys are amazing. And I can't even tell you how lucky I feel to even have this life because I'm adopted. And they gave me an amazing chance. I'd like to give that back to someone one day. So thank you. Follow Kat on her latest adventures by visiting her website at www.katdavid.com or follow her on Instagram at Universe Expander. 
Don't go anywhere because when we return, we have Chris Barnett with this week's Tulip Thursday. You're watching In The Mix. This program is brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Thank you for an amazing year. This 2017, get ready for suspense. Support tourism. There is no place on Guam like Chuck E. Cheese's. It's tons of fun with so many games, and parties are a blast where everyone has fun. Come and party at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. Call and book your party today. Health, home, and lifestyle. News and information on wellness, health, balance, and fitness. Join Isabaza on Tuesdays for instant motivation, inspiration, and important health news from around our community. Presented by Paradise Fitness. Exercise is medicine. It's the Academy of Our Lady of Guam High School's 15th Annual 5K Fun Run Walk on Saturday, January 21st. Join us for a run walk along the Agadia Historic Trail with start and finish adjacent to AOLG High School. Showtime is 5.15 a.m. with go time at 6 a.m. Register in advance at Academy of Our Lady of Guam, Royal Bix, or Healthy Q. $10 in advance or $12 on race day. T-shirts for the first 600 finishers with certificates for top finishers in all divisions and post-race raffle and refreshments. For more information, call 477-8203 or visit www.aolg.edu. This message is brought to you by the KUAM Care Force. is presented by The Deli, located in the Jones and Guerrero building in Hagadia. Open 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Hop a day and welcome back. It's Tulip Thursday, so Chris Barnett shares with us another recipe. This time he's making tulip pasta. Here's more. <laughs> Uh, for Dago, I'm Chris Barnett, Tulip Thursday. All right, remember, bringing you another recipe that's too quick, too easy, too convenient, Tulip. And we're going to change it up a little bit today. Kind of get fancy, as fancy as you could get with a Tulip, which, of course, is everywhere. They got it uh, down here at May store in Iran, cost you less, pay less. Hey, it's even a Kmart, and it's at every 